Now I get the great opportunity of sitting with Katie O'Brien, her wife, their son, and mom Beth. Katie, what is life like today? It's very different with having a son now. It's been really amazing to kind of add in this element of life outside of sport and having a son and a family. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. There's so, you know, such a cooperation between the two of them, such an equal workload. How is this for you, Megan? Uh, this journey, motherhood, standing beside Katie? It's definitely an adventure. Um, she keeps me on my toes. I think so. Say only good things. <laughs> <laughs> I've known her for a long time now, and I have been privileged to be witness to a lot of her journey and a lot of the ups and downs. I'm just going to eat the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people who are inspired by you, Katie, and they see this life you've created and you continue to create, but they don't see the other parts. So tell me about how being back on the bike has been healing for you. It has been tremendously and I think funnily enough competition is competition. Be it para, able-bodied, it's not a job, it's just a choice that you've made and that's been probably the biggest thing about being on the bike and competition of course I still love so you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so beautiful to watch that spark come back for her, the competitive spark. Like I think of the first time that we went on a bike ride together after your injury. And <laughs> you came down the stairs and with your helmet over your staples. <laughs> <laughs> we went just for a little road bike ride around the neighborhood and you were so happy just to be out on your bike and you're like, this is what I wanted. With Kitty's path, including her injury, it's completely delightful to see her with her family and to have a grandson and to have a, a daughter that's back in sports after such a bad injury. Now we're all gearing up for Paris. The idea of having my parents and my wife and my son and my mother-in-law coming and I'm so excited to be able, however it ends up podium or not, but to be able to share that experience. Feed the Dream by Sobeys, official grocer of Team Canada.